uh, freelancer.com uh, is the site, it, uh, is the institution that uh, brought us here. So uh, I will just briefly discuss what it's all about and then I show you how you can benefit by using this site. Now the other platforms, there are other sites that connect people or there are other marketplaces that connect people uh, with uh, uh, employers, with employees. But I'm specifically going to focus on this because uh, I am a witness that it works. Um, so what is freelancer.com? Freelancer.com is the world's largest online outsourcing and crowdsourcing marketplace. Now this is a bit technical to understand, but just take freelancer.com as a market. Now you know what happens in the market. That, as I say, that they are buyers and sellers of goods. So in freelancer.com is a market for employers and employees. So those people you'll get in freelancer.com are those looking for jobs and those who are willing to employ. Now, the question now is, can you uh, open an account in Freelancer as uh, an employer? Yes, it is very possible. Now, even this gentleman here can be an employer. Don't you think so? You can be an employer. How do you become an employer? Now, let me give you just an example. In Kenya today, if you are to construct a website, you will need a web designer. How much do web designers charge? <laughs> Approximately 10,000 for a simple website. Now you know that if I'm to take this project of web design to an Indian or to a Filipino, now I post a project in Freelancer, I will get somebody doing that job at 2,000. So, if I can say that I do web design, but I don't do, personally I don't do web design, but I, 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 I tell people that I do web design, because if you give me a website to design, sorry, I will ask, I will go post this project in Freelancer as an employer, and I will get somebody to do it at 2,000, and I will charge you 10,000 and take 8,000 shillings. That's how easy to make money via freelancer.com. So in that case, I will go to freelancer.com as an employer. So you can also go there as an employee. I know majority of you uh, would want to go there to look for jobs. But I'm also giving you a challenge that you can open an account since it is free, both as an employer to open and then as an employee to open, uh, you can also go and create a, an employer's account. So the company was started in 2009 by Matt Barry, who is the chief executive, and he purchased a number of other independent sites and rolled them together to make uh, freelancer.com. Now, when I joined Freelancer, the, the, I, I, we, we had some other companies that I also had accounts with, like Lime Exchange. Another company was called Viewaka. Another company was called Scriptlands. But over the years, all these companies were bought by freelancer.com to make it now the leading marketplace for, uh, for, uh, for employers and employees. So it is a fact that uh, those people who are employers in viewaka.com are now employers in, uh, uh, in uh, freelancer.com. So it has a large pool. It's unlike other sites. It has a large pool of employers and employees. So you can take advantage of. Now, the other thing is that today this site has 7 million users. Now, in 240 countries all over the world, and it has, uh, by the time you know, I was checking this thing, it had about 4.2 million posted projects uh, globally. And these projects, of course, were taken by uh, people benefited. So we can say if we are to count uh, one person benefiting per project, then about 4.2 million have benefited uh, so far. So it is also an international marketplace for posting and bidding projects and services and tasks. And um, uh, we can now discuss how it works in Freelancer. Now assuming that you are an employer or you are looking for a service, in Freelancer.com you'll go and post a project. Now you post a project in Freelancer platform. Just like, uh, you know, if I am an advertiser, I will go to action and place an advert. Then uh, there, there are many people who are going to come and uh, 
uh, uh, you know, uh, the, who are going to apply for that project. Now, we call them bidders in, in, in freelancer.com. So, you can, uh, we can have bidders from Kenya, Australia, India, you know, you are all competing. And the good thing is that since this employer will be looking for the best talent, so you will all be given an equal opportunity to showcase your skills. They may ask for a sample. You know, the employer may ask for a sample. So he will compare bids and select the, the bidders. Uh, they will uh, select the bidders. And uh, if the employer is satisfied, then he is going to award a project to the winning person or to the best person. And from that time, you know, the person becomes, uh, uh, you know, uh, will, will initiate a contract. They, they are going to have a contract and it will end when that person is paid. Now, uh, I will uh, discuss uh, cases that, uh, um, uh, you know, that one in details, how it is done in Freelancer, so that you can also uh, see how to benefit. So, an employer will post a project, then bidders will be given an opportunity to submit applications. Now, like you, I'm assuming that, uh, uh, let me say I'm an employer, I, I need a writer. So I will post a project in freelancer.com asking people to, uh, to, to, to submit applications for bids. Now, I'm going to evaluate those uh, bids and uh, I will interview and compare bids. Unlike in the physical employment uh, uh, process, now, the interviews are conducted online. Now, freelancer.com has a, a, a chat system. How many people know how to chat on Facebook? I know Kira Mtue. So it's everybody here. So in Freelancer, there is also that platform for, for interviews. So the employer, wherever he is, if he's in India or Pakistan or wherever, is going to interview uh, those people who have applied and or he will compare bids. Now, the employer will select the best person the se and he will award the project. After the interview process, he will award the project. Now, you may be asking, how, since Freelancer is a free to join site, how does it benefit out of this? Now, Freelancer will benefit when you are awarded this project and you are paid. If the project was $200, Freelancer is going to take between 5% and 10%, depending on the membership category that you are in. So we are going to discuss those membership categories later on. So, uh, you know, uh, if uh, you are given a job of uh, $200, for instance, if one employer gives you a job of four, uh, one, uh, uh, $200, Freelancer if, uh, will deduct maybe 5%. So what is 5% of uh, $200? Mathematics, simple mathematics. Five percent of uh, two hundred dollars is how much? Hey, twenty dollars, isn't it? Five percent is it twenty dollars or ten dollars? It is ten dollars. Uh, Five percent of uh, so it is ten dollars. So freelancer will only take that ten dollars out of you, and you take your one ninety dollars. Now it is justified because you have used their platform to get that job. So you pay, and of course, when you are awarded the project. Now let's go to the other thing. So you are going to accept, once you are awarded the project, you will accept it, uh, you will accept that job, and you accept the terms of the employer. Then it is recommended that the employer will set up a milestone. Now I'm going to discuss, I really want you to get this point, because uh, many people in Kenya say, that we went to work via you know, a given site and we were taken advantage of. People came and took our money. We did a project and they did not pay. This is because they did not ask for a milestone. So what is milestone? Now, what is your name? Yes. And you? Victor. John. So we have Grace, Victor, and John. Now we are assuming that John is uh, uh, is uh, is uh, is a freelancer. Let's say that is in the position of freelancer. So Grace is an employer. 
So if uh, Grace wants to post a project, I would recommend that uh, Grace uh, gives uh, some money to, uh, to, to this gentleman here so that John, when John finishes the project, he is going to get the money from him. So that is the milestone that you are talking about. So milestone is the amount of money that is kept somewhere aside uh, such that when a job is finished, then uh, uh, it is going to be released to the other person, to the person who is doing the job. Now, how does freelancer ensure that this milestone works properly to, their, uh, to the benefit of both parties? Now, since uh, uh, Grace created, uh, when Grace uh, you know, uh, is creating a project, she has to ensure that all the details of the project are you know, well written and you know, it is, they are very clear. Such that if John does the job, then uh, uh, the judge, their judge will look at that particular job and they say that uh, uh, this person did the job well so he deserves to be paid. So supposing maybe Grace decides not to pay John the money. John has a right to go to court or freelancer.com and ask freelancer to intervene so that they can sort out the case. So uh, uh, a freelancer will appoint a judge and this judge is going to look at the specifications of Grace and they are going to compare those specifications according to what maybe John has done and see if uh, the contract was followed. So if the contract was followed, whether Grace refuses to pay John, then John will still be paid by freelancer. Because freelancer as a judge has seen that everything was, the contract was valid and everything was done as per the contract. So what we are saying is that when you go to do any job online, just make sure that Whoever employer, the employer who gives you the job sets up a milestone. Put the money somewhere so that when I finish the job, I'll be assured of getting it. So what happens to milestone? So once an uh, uh, employer sets, gives money to this one, he, uh, you know, he cannot say that I want my money back now. If you, he says that, then there has to be a case. So Grace will not have the power to remove money from you know, to back to his pocket, uh, to her pocket, and John cannot get the money from freelancer unless Grace releases it to, uh, to him. So Grace has the ability to release the money to John, but does not have the ability to get the, back, the cash back uh, to her. Uh, did you get now the concept? So that is how it works. So anytime you are working online, just know that even in freelancer you may get bad guys because even in the market there is a, a mad, you know, a mad person. You know, it is said in African setting people say that every market has a mad man, and uh, uh, still freelancer is also a market, and you can get somebody who is uh, just there to take advantage of. Now those people in Kenya who complain that they work online and they are not paid, perhaps maybe get a person online and uh, they decide to work and they work and they work and finally when uh, the work is complete, the person disappears. It happens like that. So, uh, so I would, uh, uh, this is the one that I encourage you, so you must always make sure that your employer sets up a, a milestone. So you are going to begin work when uh, the milestone is set, and the project, if it is completed per guidelines, the employer will release the milestone, and both employer and employees will review each other for the job well done. So this is a successful contract. Now you do the job, and it is paid. And you, you have an opportunity to review each other. So if Grace found the job was satisfactory, then he's going to give uh, John five stars. Now these five stars that John receives online will be a boost to him because any other employer will come and they're looking for John to work for them. They will see, you know, how did you interact with the other employers that you had before? So if they are good rating, then uh, definitely you'll get a good uh, 
uh, you know, an employer will give you, many other employers are going to give you an opportunity to work for them. So always make sure that when you start working online, your profile is good, that each and every person who is working uh, for you is satisfied, you are working with is satisfied. So what happens when things do not work out? There is a dispute resolution system in freelancer. Supposing maybe Grace did not agree to the job that was done by John and you know is not satisfied, then uh, Grace can file a dispute. Or supposing John does the work properly and he feels that you know the job was done well and Grace is refusing to pay, then they can go to that particular dispute uh, uh, resolution system where there will be a judge who is going to look at uh, both parties and you will give uh, money to the right person, the person who deserves it. So it is uh, uh, online thing, all these things are happening online and it is practically possible. And that is why we are saying you use freelancer.com if you are to work online so that uh, you are not taken advantage of. Now, there is a third case scenario where there is no milestone. Now I've said that uh, and I've recommended uh, that you must always use milestone if you want to have it, you know, uh, uh, you don't want to have it rough in freelancer.com. Not only freelancer, in online uh, jobs, always uh, just make sure that uh, you work with people that are assuring you of milestone. Now the same, same case happens, uh, only that the only difference here is that there is no milestone. If there is no milestone, a person will give you a job and tell you that I'm going to pay when uh, it is done. Now, not all clients are bad. Not all clients who will, who will say, I will not set up a milestone are bad. So what you need to do is to be extra cautious, such that you don't do a job worth hundreds of dollars and then you wait to be paid. It's better you do a project of $20 first. Tell them, let me finish the $20 first. Once he pays the $20, then you go to the next project of maybe $40. You know, yeah, that is how safe it can be. So make sure that when you start working online, don't just uh, 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 allow an employer uh, to give you a job, yeah, $200, and then has not even promised, kept some money elsewhere as milestone, and is just telling you, just work, I will pay. No, you will end up being cheated. And as I, I'm saying, you can make this thing safe, or you can make it unsafe. So you have to be very careful wherever you are using online, uh, you getting jobs online. Now, um, I will discuss how to avoid these scams online uh, in freelancer because as I said, they are also bad employers. It's, a, it's open to all. A person who could be a thief can also open an account, your employer, and can take advantage of you. So you have to be very careful. I will discuss maybe uh, the things that you need to do when, uh, 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 before uh, you apply. Now, when uh, uh, the, 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 the page, the bidding page or the application page will have details of the employer up there. They will always look like this. This is where uh, down here you have the details of the employer, the details of the contract or the jobs. And up here on the right hand side in freelancer.com, you get something like this. This is the photo of the employer. Sometimes there are many people who post photos and uh, others don't post. Then uh, there will be the username, you know, the name of uh, the employer. Uh, maybe uh, they, they normally give uh, a username. Right, my username in, uh, in Freelancer is Fabsent, so you can go check what Fabsent, uh, you know, the jobs that I've done in Freelancer. So if uh, uh, the employer is called XYZ or Grace, then the name will be here, and uh, the photo of that particular employer will be there. Uh, Freelancer recommends that you put your photo there, you upload your photo so that people can see you. Then there is the flag, just here, always check the flag. Is the flag of uh, where the employer comes from. There are people, um, 
who who normally will give you some fake flags uh, you know they register that they come from the US and uh, you know they come from India so but freelancer has a way of taking getting rid of such people they are able to identify uh, people uh, because uh, you know they are, they, are, they they have several tools of uh, ensuring that uh, the people who are here uh, have genuine flags if they are UK flags then they come from UK so in our case scenario this employer comes from the UK now the other thing that you need to look at is the reviews, the number of reviews. Now like in our case here, this employer has 62 reviews. So what do reviews tell you? If you see five stars, then it means that all these people that this employer has worked with uh, have uh, rated him highly. So this is a good employer. If you see such an employer, it is always good to bid for that project because this employer is actually appearing to be genuine. So always check the stars, the ratings. And it is always good to click here so that you can read what the uh, other people he has worked with are saying about him. If he delays payment, they will say there. If he, has very, he is very strict or he is not understanding, they will say there. But Above all, if the five, if the stars are five here, then it shows that you can really rely on this employer. He is a, a good person to deal with. What, what else should you check? Then check the blue sign here. Uh, um, so you check, uh, as I'm saying, you check the profile upon opening a project to see the employer. Make sure that the employer has at least one review. If you want to be safe, make sure just that the employer has one review. What if uh, he doesn't have a review? You may check the date that, that this employer joined Freelancer. If I join today as an employer, definitely I will not have a review. So what else are you supposed to check if a, per a person does not have a review? So uh, you just make sure that um, leave the filtering to the ones you dare just make sure that employer is payment verified. Payment verified is indicated by a dollar sign that is blue, not gray. Now, so you can look at the picture again. Uh, now we see the employer verification. Um, now check this, this dollar sign. It has to be blue. Now, if you notice that this employer does not have reviews, then the second thing that you have to look at is whether the, this dollar sign is blue. If it is bluish, not gray, like this one, it shows that this person has verified the payment system. So what is to verify the payment system? That, you know, freelancer tried to withdraw some money out of his account and he realized, they realized that, uh, you know, um, you know uh, if, uh, if they had given the credit card details and uh, a freelancer was able to withdraw some money out of the account, then it shows that uh, that person, even their identity is verified. So don't work with a person who, you know, you don't know their identity. Just make sure this uh, sign is blue, and uh, uh, if it is blue, then you can, uh, uh, you know, at least trust that person. That is if he doesn't have the reviews. The first way to test a person, if a person is genuine, is to check their reviews. The second other option, if he doesn't have the reviews, is to check this blue. If there is no blue and it's just like that, then you have to be very careful. Then you have to trend carefully. And trending carefully will mean that you ask for, um, you ask for milestone before you start working. Let them put milestone, put some money else somewhere under the care of freelancer to show that they are committed uh, to the project. Now, I'm going to give you just uh, reasons why you should use a freelancer. Um, one, as I said, there is secure and quick payment. Secure and quick payment is one of the reasons why you should use a freelancer. Uh, and uh, uh, why are we saying that there is secure payment? Because uh, when we have such milestone system, uh, then you are assured that your project will be paid after working so hard. Now, the other thing is that there is free membership. In freelancer.com, it's free to join. You can create an account as an employer or as an employee. You are not going to be asked to pay anything. 
you can even create an account from here. Just that easy. Now, generous affiliate incentives. Now, what are affiliates? Now, supposing um, the same case, I use a case, case of uh, Grace. If Grace is uh, to, um, to uh, ask John to join Freelancer, then uh, uh, if, man if she manages to sign up with John, then uh, whatever commission that uh, Freelancer deducts from John, if it is 10%, then uh, Grace will have her share of 20%. So it is always good that when you join freelancer.com, you may join as, a, uh, as, a, as an employer or as an employee to enjoy those benefits, but you should not just stick there. Invite other friends to join freelancer and when they work and they are paid, the commission that uh, freelancer deducts from them, you know, you are also going to have a share. Now supposing you are all to join with my link, you are maybe a hundred plus and you are all to join via my link. And uh, maybe each and every person here does a job worth $200, maybe the first one month, you do a job worth $200. So freelancer, if they are to take 10% of that, then it means that it's 20%. So this 20%, which is $20, 10% of uh, 200 is uh, $20. So I'm going to share with the freelancer this $20, just because I introduced you. And the same case you can do, yeah? So $20, if they are to give me 20% of uh, the, uh, the $20, then it is $4. So for 100 people, I'll be assured of $400 just by working, by you joining freelancer and uh, making it. So I'm asking you, when you go join freelancer, just join and uh, make sure that you also encourage other people to join because if they work, they also, you're also going to earn something. Now, there are also great work tools as uh, we talked about uh, um, uh, their message board. The message board, uh, you can be interviewed there and uh, uh, they have milestone system. You can also chat with an employer, you know, via their, their, you know, using their instrument. These work tools are great. So you can make use of them uh, and benefit. Now, if you go to freelancer.com, just opening the site, you will see that it is buyer and provider friendly. So it is a site that is buyer and provider friendly. So just make sure that you go and explore it yourself. Uh, these are, you know, some of the benefits. Now I'm going to focus on a, a number of, you know, we are talking about an institution that is reputable, that is recognized world over. So like in the year 2012, it won what you call the Webby Awards. Um, uh, and if you go to Wikipedia and you check what uh, Webby Award honors, we are told that it honors website, interactive advertising, media, online, and uh, it is, uh, uh, award for excellence on the internet and it is presented by International Academy of Digital Arts and Sciences. Now you can go, you know, it's always good to be curious and uh, go and check what this means or what this entails or what companies that get such awards, you know, come with. Now, so we are told that two winners are selected in each category and one is a member, uh, one by members of the International Academy of Digital Arts and the other is voted by people. So if it won the People's Voice Award, then it means that it was voted by people. Now, uh, the other thing is uh, it also won the Best Export Achievement Choice. Uh, and again, you can go check more information about that. And um, it is an award that uh, uh, is uh, you know, given to Australian uh, to reward the most, it's one of the most uh, prestigious awards in the Australian digital industry. As I said, freelancer.com is a company that is based in Australia, but of course uh, it is online uh, since anybody can uh, uh, be able to access its services online. Uh, there are uh, you know, the Entrepreneur of the Year Award, this I think was awarded to the, the Chief Executive Officer of Freelancer.com. Now, because of time, 
uh, we, we know when if we are to discuss this, uh, it will take too much time. But I want to make it easy for you, so that we don't also take time. Okay, just go check the. Uh, I, I'm not. I was not able to print uh, the jobs that are available in freelancer.com, but there are so many. And now this uh, website and IT software category, we also have administration jobs, we also have writing jobs, we have data entry jobs, we have marketing jobs, accounting jobs are there. So you can just make sure that today you go check uh, uh, freelancer.com in totality. Now, just to finalize, uh, I would like to discuss how you withdraw money from freelancer account. Now, there are various ways of uh, you know, we want the, the, the challenge that I had when I started working online was um, how do I withdraw uh, money from freelancer now to come to my pocket? When I started, you know, I just went to Google and uh, uh, because I, I, uh, I had resigned from my teaching job, I was teaching at Hekima Girls High School. You know Hekima? It is in Thika, now Pioneer Girls. Now, and the first thing, since I did not have a job and you know, I only had uh, my novel uh, to sell and it wasn't selling, I decided to go and Google how uh, to make money out of writing. And I was directed to a freelancer.com site. So what I did in freelancer.com, I went and I tried one project. Within an hour, I think I was given that project. I was awarded the project within an hour. So I was able to complete the project the following day, and I was paid. So the challenge now was, how do I withdraw that money to, now, uh, to, to, to come to my pocket? Now that was the challenge. So I came to realize that, you know, that time PayPal was not working in Kenya. There, was, uh, there are so many issues with the money bookers. Now all these things have been streamlined, and now it is very easy for you. So we have PayPal, how many people know PayPal? How many people have ever heard of it? Now, PayPal controls over 65% of online transactions. So after here, uh, you can go and open an account with PayPal. Wire transfer is very expensive. Money bookers, how many people have heard of money bookers? Money bookers is also another way that you can transfer money uh, to Kenya. The good thing with the money bookers is that you link it with your bank account, and I will show you how. Now, and there is also another freelancer, a Pioneer debit card. Let me show you the channels that uh, are available. Now, the first channel is that the money that you, that you see in your freelancer account, after employer pay, you see that money uh, on top in your freelancer account. You can transfer it via money bookers. So you need to go and create an account with money bookers. Money bookers is free of charge. So if it doesn't work, uh, it is also called Skrill. Uh, so go type Skrill.com or moneybookers.com. You create an account, then you link it with your bank account in Kenya. So money will come from freelancer. You transfer it to moneybookers, and then uh, you, since moneybookers is linked to your bank in Kenya, it will uh, uh, you will be transferring uh, to your bank. So how does that go? Now, Money Bookers is uh, a British, uh, actually it is a UK company. So they are going to, uh, uh, you, you ensure that when you are working with this, you have uh, a card, uh, a debit card that is Visa branded. Uh, you, you, you know there are, some, there are some banks that do not give Visa debit cards or ATM cards. Just make sure that your ATM is Visa, has a Visa logo or a MasterCard. Uh, I don't know whether it came with mine, I'll show you how it is done. Now <coughs> uh, you can see, th this is the MasterCard logo. So if your account has either Visa here or MasterCard, then you can use it online. Now, so the first channel, you open MoneyBooker's account, they are going to, uh, to ask you to attach your bank account and what they will do with your bank account is uh, once you give the details of uh, your card, they will withdraw some little money, maybe one point, uh, it is normally less than $2. So they will withdraw that money. 
and when you they and then they will send a code. So when you verify, when you go and uh, insert that code in their site, they, they then uh, they will verify the account and they will be uh, you know that account will be free to use with the money bookers. Now the other one is uh, um, through what you call Ma Pioneer Mastercard. This is a freelancer Pioneer Mastercard. Now you can use it anywhere there is a Mastercard logo. So any money that I receive from freelancer, I always, uh, maybe if I receive money by Sunday, let's say Sunday, uh, anything that I collect uh, until Sunday, I transfer it uh, on Sunday evening and it gets to my account on Tuesday. So you can go when this card is free to get. The more, uh, when we get the, when you finish this, you can ask me to uh, to give you a link to uh, to this card. And when you give me your email address, I'll do that for you. Um, and make sure that you get this Pioneer Mastercard. So this is uh, you can use it where there is a, a Mastercard. And basically in Kenya, we use it in CFC Stanbic and uh, and uh, Barclays Bank. They have uh, they process dollars because money is in dollars. So there are ATMs in Kenya that are not able to convert dollars to shillings. So this one, you can use it and it will convert us to 